In 2007, after a six-year development cycle, Windows Vista was released to the public. Although it had the longest development cycle in Microsoft history, Vista was considered by the majority to be a terrible operating system. So why was Vista such a failure? Microsoft started the Vista project in May of 2001, three months before the release of Windows XP. At that time, it was codenamed Longhorn. Intended for release in 2003, Longhorn was supposed to be a stopgap release between XP and Microsoft's next big planned operating system, codenamed Blackcomb. So why did Longhorn take almost three times as long to complete? The problem was that Longhorn went too far. As mentioned before, it was only supposed to be a minor upgrade from XP. The developers for Longhorn kept assimilating more and more features from Blackcomb, making the project much larger than it was intended to be. In addition, not enough testing was done, and the code was rushed. Microsoft were also attempting to switch to the higher level c -sharp language, which added more bloat to the system. Essentially, Longhorn started with a bad foundation. This is why Microsoft decided that in 2004, one year after Longhorn's expected release, the entire code base would be scrapped and they would start from scratch. This massively set back the production timeline for Vista. This post-reset Longhorn had a few changes. Developers were no longer allowed to use C-sharp. Instead, they were forced to use the lower level C++ language, which created a more stable system. In addition, many features implemented in the pre-reset Longhorn were cut to ensure the system wasn't too complex. So that explains why Vista took so long, but why was it so unpopular? Well, the system was unstable, but many of the issues were out of Microsoft's control. The biggest problem was driver support. Many drivers were not compatible with Vista. This was due to the fact that Microsoft had redesigned the driver model to increase system stability. Many hardware manufacturers had not updated their drivers to be compatible, despite Microsoft giving a one-year notice. Another issue was the system requirements for Vista. The memory requirement was eight times that of XP. Microsoft had predicted that hardware would improve between the release of XP and Vista. While hardware did improve, manufacturers instead built cheaper computers rather than more powerful ones as people did not require the extra power. In 2009, Microsoft released Windows 7. While only a minor update over Vista, to the consumer it was perceived to be a much better product. This video was brought to you by Skillshare. Skillshare gives you unlimited access to over 18,000 classes on everything from design to photography, marketing to technology. I use Skillshare personally to learn animation and I love their courses. As you're a Matica viewer, you can get a free month of Skillshare by using the link in the description. After that, it's only $10 a month. So give it a try and learn a new skill.